Objectives are city work, communications have Do follow the brightly colored turn arrows, Master Bruce. All right, today we're checking out the drive collection, about 78 gigabytes. Uh, when it's all said and done, I think it's, you know, closer to 90 on un, RARD. Um, you'll notice this is a typical, you know, retro FE type of setup here. And um, this is a standalone build. It's set up for the G920 steering wheel or an Xbox controller. Let's launch this. Check it out. All right, I'm going to be running on Xbox, and then let's go into the game. Got auto medalla stuff. You got the description. You got the GameCube. You see it's GameCube. Um, you got the Drive TV there. Next, you got Batman 2013 arcade game. Super cool game where you can drive and shoot at the same time. I believe this is running on the... Uh, Stop, California Speed, 1998. Cars, the arcade game. Yeah, oh, it tells you at the top of Yeah, Techno Parrot. Batman was Techno Parrot too, right? California Speed is just MAME. Back to cars. And you can also see we've got the controller here in the bottom left. So it is going to be for an Xbox controller. But like I said, you can change it to that Logitech G920 uh, steering wheel. It's about to be Black Friday. It might be a good time to grab one. They go on sale almost every year. Um, so you got Chase HQ2 on Techno Parrot. Cruising USA, the MAME version, not the Nintendo 64 version. Probably better for emulation, especially. Cruise in the world, MAME as well. This is always cool, the underwater highway. D1 GP, Techno Pair. So there's a lot of Techno Pair on this build, I'm noticing. Uh, just be mindful of uh, you know your firewall or virus protection. Sets that stuff off. It's pretty typical. Um, the other thing is uh, your controls. There's a readme file. Check that out. Readme file for with the steering wheel, not with the main. The main control, the Xbox controller should work just fine. You got Daytona USA with Techno Parrot. Then you got the Sega Model 2 Daytona USA, which is included on a lot of coin ops builds. It's like that. You can call it a game on a lot of builds. Then you got Daytona USA 2 from 1998 on the Sega Model 3. One was Sega Model. Wow, I didn't know this they were that far. They're four year difference between those two. Wow. Then you have the Power Edition. Same year. But the Power Edition. Dirt Devils, Sega Model 3. Definitely played this one. The steering's kind of uh, interesting on this one. You gotta, you gotta get used to it. Then you got Dirty Driving, Techno Parrot, 2011. Um, also know uh, that Coin uh, that um, yeah, Core Team uh, also had. I don't know if this is a Core Team or one of the you know one of the uploaders. Um, they also have a. Um, a car PC pack, so like with Forza on it, or I don't think it's included in this pack, but just so you know, there is a nether build like this um, in the same place you get this one, um, and uh, it, it, it focuses on the, uh, on the on the PC uh, racing games, especially with steering wheel that you'd use with a you know, similar steering wheel, Logitech steering wheel. Emergency Call Ambulance, Sega Model 3. We had F Zero AX for uh, the Triforce. This was the arcade version, 2003. Yeah, the Triforce had some interesting games. Like this, it had the Super Mario GT, a couple others. 
We got F Zero GX for the. Uh, Fast and the Furious in 2007. Um, something to note, um, back on the Nintendo GameCube, I, I'm not sure if any used this steering wheel. I don't have a steering wheel to test, but I'm curious if the Nintendo GameCube game Fast and the Furious Supercars 2011, so how many years later? So four years later, came out Fast and the Furious Supercars. Look at that odometer. Hit the NOS, the N2O, Nitrous. Three, two, we got Ford one. Racing, Techno Carrot, 2006. Driving those Ford folks through the Madison Gardens. H2 Overload, 2009, Techno Indy 500 Deluxe, 2004. D. We go, get the drift on. 2011. Le Mans 24, 1997, Sega Model 3. Oh wow, they even threw in Mario Kart 8 on this thing? Nice. So for the Wii U. And here you go, your other Triforce, Mario Kart Arcade GP. Grand Prix. GP2. Also for the Triforce. Oh wow, so you can get Mario Kart Double Dash, and then, oh, Mario Kart DX for uh, Techno Parrot as well. They probably didn't include the Wii version because the Wii U version is just better than that. Oh wow, they did, okay. <laughs> so you have Mario Kart Wii. Oh, I was, I'm sorry, not Mario Kart Wii, but for the original. Oh, I guess, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, no, that makes sense. So you get every single Mario Kart uh, between in those eras, um, except maybe not the portable version, the 3DS version. All right, you got Nicktoons, Nitro Arcade, Techno Parrot, Off-Road Challenge, Name, Outrun, the original. Wow, throwing it back, 1986. Outrun 2 for the Techno Parrot. 2006. Outrunners for Mame 1992. Overrev on the Sega Model 2. Look at that RX. What is that? RX7? RX6? Little rotary engine. R2 Street Racing 2008. Typical Rush 2009 for Mame. Typical Rush for Rock Alcatraz Edition. Scud Race, Sega like Model 3. Nice uh, for Sega Race TV, 2019. Sega Rally 2, 1998. Sega Model 3, Sega Rally 3, Parrot. 2017. Wow, this is a much newer game. It's probably the newest game on the field so far. Then back to Sega, Sega Rally Championship, 1994. Sega Touring Car Championship 1996. Sega World Drivers Championship of 2018, even newer. Sonic Racing 2011. Or Sega All Star Racing. Storm Racer G 2014. There's a lot. Sega Super GT 24 Hour. Second Model 2, Virtual Racing, Main. Woof! Look at those graphics, baby. I think they made this game for the Sega 32X, too, right? Wacky Racers, the 2006. Midnight Maximum Tune 6R, 2020. Okay, so this is the newest game on the build. Only a couple years old. You can drift. You might even be able to use a shifter, it looks like. And then back to the beginning. So I already know the Sega Model 2, Sega Model 3 games are gonna work just fine, but I wanna try, you know, GameCube, make sure Dolphin was working good. And I like the, uh, here you go. The graphics. Really working well. Dolphin worked just fine. You can change the res, your controls, all kinds of stuff you want. Um, Start select exits, and uh, it's running great. Uh, depending on your computer though, I didn't talk about that in this video. You might need a little bit more powerful video, especially anything like 2005 and newer, you definitely want a dedicated graphics card, and, you know, to, to run a live track. No. Okay.
they don't need to spawn that bad. A lot of rumble. You got a rumble pack? This thing's gonna be rumble. All right, so here's Techno Parrot, and I, to my pleasant surprise, Batman worked first boot, no error messages, nothing. It was running great. This game is so much fun. It's a really cool game. Um, <clears throat> again, remember, I don't have a steering wheel. If I did, I think this this whole drive collection would be even cooler. Um, if you missed it earlier, I said. There's other drive collections on there under the core team, um, even a PC drive collection to play like Forza and things like that. So if you're into Sims, you're into racing, this is awesome. To stop my invasion will be met with grave punishment, but I beg you to try. All right. So like I said, it was really cool. Um, so I'm giving this build two thumbs up. This thing is killer awesome. Uh, and if you're into racing, look no further. Uh, there'll be links to backups to me. Um, also, the core core team has a great Discord as well. Check them out. Uh, beautiful work. Uh, two thumbs up. I'm digging it. That's what I think. Let me know all things. I'll leave the rest of my gameplay in here. Uh, enjoy. It.